Hello everyone, welcome to a Foreigner Farming in the Philippines. Get this fired up here. So this is the large pot that I make rice for the dogs in. Back when we didn't have so many dogs, I, I would just use a rice cooker, but uh, we've kind of overwhelmed that. We've kind of surpassed that now. <coughs> so, um, I just cook it on the stove in this big pot. So, for all the dogs, and this includes uh, the two shepherds, uh, six of these cups, this is a 12 ounce cup, so 84 ounces, uh, works out to about 10 measured cups of rice. And to this, after the rice is cooked, I will add four cups of the, those large cups, which I guess would uh, come out to, I don't know, uh, six regular cups of fish food. Uh, rice is about 7% protein, that fish food is 28% protein. So uh, 28 and 7 is 35 and you divide that in two. So the basic protein of this feed is about 17%, which for dogs is a high protein diet. Now I'll boil this up, it's heavy when it's done. Uh, I'll boil this up. Uh, I add one-fourth of a cup of cooking oil to this. I don't measure it. I just, that's about one-fourth of a cup of cooking oil uh, to add a little fat to their diet. A little more than uh, is in, the rice is not, there's almost no fat at all. And Generally, I add, I'll add a, a bouillon cube, a cube uh, just for a little bit of flavor for them. They're not necessary, and I don't do it every time, uh, but I sometimes do it. And uh, to this, the final, uh, I put the bouillon cube in it just for a little bit of salt, mainly because that's what bouillon is. Um, you know one of these guys right here this our old refrigerator has kind of turned into our pantry they call them broth cubes here they don't call them bouillon which I guess broth cubes are basically what they are so uh, this is like 90% salt probably and uh, I add one of these while it's cooking. When this is cooked, when it's boiled, uh, right when I take it off the stove, I will add two eggs and uh, let the hot rice cook the eggs. And uh, for a little more vitamin and uh, mineral content in case you know something is getting missed missed in the rice and the fish food and I think that makes a fairly good substitute for dog food now you're asking why oh why would he be uh, making this up for him and not feeding him dog food well here's the reason uh, dry weight I don't know this would probably be 10 um, 20 cups, which would be about 10 pounds of uh, 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 5 pounds of dry food. Uh, that's what this would be before it's cooked. A kilo of the very cheapest dog food here is 150 pesos per kilo, which is $1.50 per pound. So if I were to give them an equal ration of dry dog food, uh, the same weight of what I'm giving them right now it would be seven dollars and fifty cents per day to feed the dogs I ain't doing it because I can't afford it uh, and especially with these two shepherds now the, the uh, well Charlie's getting mad in there the the shepherds get about three quarters of this believe it or not uh, even though we have, I think, 11 dogs, uh, those two shepherds weigh more than, well, I don't know if they'd weigh more, 
um, similar in weight to the other 11 that we have. And uh, the dogs that are running around here get other food to eat. They get table scraps and all the rest of that. So that's why they get screwed a little bit in the ration of what I make here. Um, this, uh, so uh, seven dollars and fifty cents per day is what I would be, is what it would be costing me to feed all the dogs here. Uh, so there's about, let's see, there would be three kilos of rice, uh, which is 150 pesos, um, which is three dollars, and there's about a half, well, may just call it a kilo of fish food. Uh, and that's uh, 50 pesos. So uh, for 200 pesos, which is $4, uh, versus uh, $7.50. And the eggs we get, uh, there are eggs, so they don't really cost anything. So it's half as much to feed them this as it is dried dog food. And uh, that's why we do it. I, I know I'm going to get lots of comments from the trolls about uh, not feeding the dogs properly, but uh, as a cost-saving measure, I think this diet is adequate. Protein-wise, it's better than uh, any dog food that you can get here, any over-the-counter sacked dog food, because that generally runs between 10 and 12 percent. And this is close to 17. Now also, um, once a month, uh, I've got my ivermectin stash up here in the cupboard. Uh, these little sachets of ivermectin. Now, I would add two of these to this container and, uh, for three days in a row. I do that once a month to keep the mange in check uh, on the dogs. I've already done it to the, dog, to the shepherds. It didn't seem to have much of an effect. Uh, but I think that's just because uh, the male was wormy and it didn't have a, a lot of overall effect. This is where I keep the meds uh, for uh, those shepherds as well. There's already, this is his little, his little blue pill. Uh, this is the broad spectrum antibiotic. Uh, I've already given him the wormer. So uh, that's, the, uh, that's the menu for the dogs. And this is the daily chore. Thank you everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.